Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Now today, I've had a delivery from DHL, and what I'm gonna be doing today is an unboxing video of this rather exciting thing, which is the CB Electronics X-Patch 32. Now what this is gonna enable me to do is to control all of my outboard units, including guitar pedals, going to my guitar amps, including my preamps and compressors and what goes to where in my studio. And it's all gonna be controlled via the computer. So what happens is we connect up a USB cable to this unit, and then I can choose what goes where in my signal chain. Okay, so let's see what we've got inside the box. Okay, so what we've got, we've got a, a USB cable. I've got a mains cable, manual and some other products that CB Electronics make, which will be interesting. I'll look at them later on. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so just taking it out of the box, I can tell that it's built like a tank. Everything looks like so, so well made. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so what we've got, we've got uh, on the front panel, we've got uh, we've got two inputs and two outputs. Now the inputs are on those dual jack and XLR type sockets. And we've also got a headphone monitor output, 29 and 30 as well. So I'm guessing that's all gonna be configurable from inside the software. Now we've got a little display here, which I'm guessing is gonna give me some information about what patch I've chosen and a, a rotary, a push rotary knob as well, with a foot switch jack on the front as well. So that looks absolutely fantastic. And it's, uh, yeah, really, really nicely made. Now on the back, we've got our standard power socket there, a USB input, and a remote socket as well. Now I'm guessing that's either for another one of their units to connect to it, or possibly for future updates. I don't know, so maybe I'll find out and I'll let you know on that. And then we've got all of the DB25 connectors as well. So what I've done, I've ordered some DB25 to jacks at the moment. So what I'm gonna do in my next video is to connect up one to eight inputs and outputs, and I'm gonna connect them to different guitar pedals. And what I'm gonna do is then connect up another set of outputs to go to my guitar amps. Now, I'm gonna be able to, to change the order of all of my pedals. So for instance, I could have an Ibanez Tube Screamer as my first pedal, and then I can go into Celica Fuzz, or I can swap them around and change around all of my different pedals. Now, I'm also gonna have my delays and reverbs going to the send and returns of my amp, so I can change exactly what amp each of these pedals go to and in what order they go to as well and basically send my delay. If I want to go in the front of the amp, I could push a button and send that to the front of the amp or push a different button via the software and then that to go to either the send and returns or the inputs, as I said. So that's going to be amazing. It's going to save me a lot of time from unpatching stuff all the time because that's what I'm constantly doing, going around the back of my amps to unplug stuff or to plug stuff in. I just want to be able to push a button and know that that's a setting and get that guitar part down. Now also, the different outputs on here as well, the extra outputs on here as well, I'm going to send to my microphone preamps and compressors. So I can choose what microphone preamp is going to go to what compressor and, and then where that then is going to get sent to my audio interface. So quite a lot of complicated stuff I, and, and it's gonna take quite a lot of working out over the next couple of weeks, but exciting stuff and I think this is gonna save me a load of time and a load of bother and it's also gonna neaten up the back of my studio, which is the leads at the back of my racks are hideous at the moment. So I'm hoping this is gonna sort that out as well. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. Now join me in the next videos where I'm going to be looking at how to patch all this up. So I'll see you next time. Cheers.